What's going on everybody? Welcome to part three of our how to make a friend tutorial series. Uh, in the last tutorial, basically we just kind of created our table, sort of set the scene for what we're expecting to be doing. And now in this tutorial, what we're gonna do is start actually iterating through that file, start cleaning up the data at least a little bit. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and get started. So the code that we're gonna be writing here, at least for a little bit, will be in here. So I'm just trying to make some space here. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start a counter for row counter. And then I also just out of curiosity paired rows. So both of these things are gonna be these counters. Row counter is just gonna tell us kind of how many rows have we gone through as we're iterating through these files with like 50 to 80 plus million rows. And then paired rows tells us how many parent and child um, pairs have we come up with basically because uh, a lot of the times we're probably not like a lot of comments will go uh, without a reply because uh, they don't need a reply or they're never seen or whatever so anyways we've got that uh, now what we're gonna do is with open and now we want to open one of those files now wherever you've stored your files is probably different from where I've stored the files so um, mine are in J colon uh, chat data slash reddit data and then one of the files for example like let's say we're into 2015 so we'll say that's about well it already even knows okay so 2015 look at idle see people dis idle for you know being uh, not special or whatever and look at this high quality anyway <laughs> and then finally um, rc and then it'll be underscore and then again um, some sort of variable. So then now what we'll do is format. Um, and then format is this will be time frame dot split. And we want to split by was it a dash or an underscore? That will be let's see, it should be well for the time frame, we're going to need to split. Um, Oh, you know what? No, no, no. It, it'll be time frame dash zero. There we go. Pay attention, everybody. Now, <laughs> so split zero, and then uh, finally RC underscore, and then it'll be the full time frame. So, <clears throat> so, so we want to open this file, right? We want to open that file. And then we're going to buffer, we'll just say, I don't know, a thousand. Uh, and then as F. And then we're ready to actually start iterating through F. So for example, what we could say is for row in F. And then what we can say here is, first of all, let's go ahead and row counter plus equals one. Uh, and then what we're going to do is row equals JSON dot load string row. And then we can say uh, parent ID, parent ID equals uh, row parent ID. And then uh, we're going to say body equals Mm. So the body's probably gonna have some issues. So we're gonna do format underscore data. So we're gonna create a new function for this. And then it'll be row body. We need something to kind of sanitize and, and, and clean up that, that data. <clears throat> so that'll be body uh, and then created UTC. Uh, that'll be row created UTC. And then score row, whatever the score was. And then finally, subreddit will equal uh, row subreddit. Okay, so now what we wanna go ahead and do is we're gonna come up here and we need to go ahead and create that format data function. So I'm just gonna do define format data. It's gonna take in data. And basically what we want to do is data equals data dot replace replace. And we want to, at this stage, we really just are trying to replace a few key things. Um, the first thing is new lines. So we want to get rid of any new lines. So I'm just going to say data dot replace a new line character. 
Um, and we're going to replace that straight up with, um, I'm just going to put spaces around it, new line character. Okay. Uh, that way, first of all, it doesn't get appended. So like a new, oftentimes at the very end of something, you get a new line character. So it would be touching. And when we go to actually tokenize this information, um, that would be like tokenized together. And we definitely don't want that. We also simultaneously don't really want to tokenize, like if we, if we tokenize this correctly, we're going to tokenize most likely a backslash and an N as separate entities, not as one single entity that means, basically when we tokenize, we tokenize entire words. In, in theory, you can actually tokenize chunks of words and stuff like that and like syllables basically, uh, but we're not going to do that either. So basically, long story short, we want to make sure that new line characters stay together, but also we can't, we, we're just going to make up a word basically. Hopefully no one on Reddit actually uses new line care. <laughs> but anyway, that's what we're doing there. Um, and then we're going to do the exact same thing with uh, return. I'm pretty sure Reddit will combine it's like slash r slash n or, or something like that. So we're going to make sure that gets uh, replaced. And then finally, I'm just going to replace one more thing. And that's going to be the double quote. We're just going to say all double quotes are actually single quotes. Um, just to kind of normalize the data there. So, because uh, there's really no reason for the AI to think um, to think that, that there's two, you know, there's no re these mean, mean the same thing. So anyway, we're going to, we're going to do that. So, uh, so that's how we're going to format data. So then we just return data there. And um, now what I want to go ahead and do is probably right here, I'd still like to do, like we'd like to do something like this, like parent, parent data equals uh, find parent, parent ID. So we might, there's going to be times where we're going to maybe want to find information from that actual parent uh, comment. So if, well, let's just write it out. So define find underscore parent. We're going to find the parent by the parent ID. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to say SQL equals select comment from parent reply. This is the name of the table. So if you named it something different, obviously change that where comment ID. So actually, let's see, parent ID, parent ID. Oh, in this case, never mind. We'll talk, we'll probably have to talk about this more in the next, the next one. But anyways, parent ID is going to get passed into here. And then basically we're looking for anywhere where the comment ID is the parent. So this is how we're going to actually find the initial parent comment that belongs to, uh, this. So like, for example, every comment, the string has a parent ID, but it doesn't have the parent text, right? The parent body is not there. Right. So when we insert this comment into our database, we actually we're going to want the parent body. So this is how we're going to do that. So anyways, uh, select the comment from parent reply where the comment ID is equal to that new comments parent ID. OK, so where comment ID uh, equals. And then um, let's do mm, this should be in a th I think we're going to need some single quotes around that. And then we'll say limit one. We're hoping that doesn't get violated. But anyways, format parent ID. So then, why won't you let me do this? Thank you, thank you sir. Now we're going to go ahead and execute that. So c.execute. We're going to execute that SQL. The results will be c.fetch one. If result does not, does not, equal none, then we're going to return result. Even though it's fetch one, we still need to say the zero with. <clears throat> and then, um, oh, actually, I'm sorry. So you actually wouldn't, I'm pretty sure zero with is just because we're only selecting one comment there. So normally you might say comment uh, score or something like that. And so it's always going to return a list. So actually fetch one is only, normally it would be a list of lists. In this case, it's just a list, but it only happens to have one element anyway. Anyways, return result zero. Uh, and then else, let's just return false. You can make that a new line if you want. I'm not going to do it. 
Now, um, and then just in case we do something wrong, let's just try accept exception as e print uh, find parent e fabulous and if we hit an exception let's let's uh let's just return false and i'm just going to comment this out actually for now if we're having issue i'll, I'll let that that print out anyway um, I think this is a good spot to stop. We've done a lot of coding here. So um, obviously we still have a little bit of ways to go. We still need to actually insert this data into the database and all of that. Um, but then we also, we have a few more constraints on the data that we're gonna put in. Like is, is, the, is the string maybe too long? Is it empty? Also there's all kinds of things like sometimes, uh, Sometimes comments get deleted, so they might have been deleted before we actually get to them. So it'll have like deleted or removed in like brackets and stuff. So we don't really want those either. So anyways, uh, we still have quite a few things to build out. Also, we might wanna add in some logic about like under what constraints do we wanna insert something? So I'm gonna use score, for example. I'm gonna only really want comments that have scores that at least one person upvoted, all right? Because there's a lot of comments that are pretty much um, useless. So anyways, uh, that's it for now. Questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next tutorial.